Last year was a monumental one in terms of historic news, and climate change was no exception. As the world reeled from the pandemic, it also saw deadly heat waves, wildfires, and the breakdown of certain ecosystems. Greeting a new year with a new series of reports, our Che jung yun looks at the apparent effects of climate change on South Korea. Global warming is accelerating, like a running car on a hill with no brakes. This has led to a series of unprecedented phenomena. The greatest and the longest ever scorching heat in history hit Korea in 2018. In 2019, seven typhoons slammed into the Korean peninsula, the most since 1904 when the National Weather Service began. People died from flooding and landslides last year due to the longest monsoon season in 50 years. What will happen next if we keep on the way we are living and look at the rising temperatures with folded arms? To get some answers, we visited the National Institute of Meteorological Sciences located on South Korea's southern island of Jeju. A senior researcher says this year's temperature averages are likely to break records again, just like they have done every year for the past five years. Under the assumption we don't cut greenhouse gas emissions, the IPCC expects the global temperature to rise some 4 degrees Celsius, even up to 5 for the Korean peninsula. The climate hazards we're suffering now are the aftermath of a 1 degree Celsius rise over the past 100 years, which has resulted in a five-fold increase in the number of natural disasters and seven times more economic losses from the 1970s to now. So just imagine a four to five times bigger temperature rise. It'll halt our daily lives and normal economic activities. She said climate change is also apparent in plant life, especially on coniferous forests with their unique environment. The Arirang team headed to Gangwon-do province to see what global warming is doing to Korean firs, one of the country's most popular trees for Christmas and a species that only live in South Korea. The trees were listed as endangered in 2013, after an increasing number began to die. At the summit of Parangsan Mountain, an altitude of 1,500 meters, Korean fir has withered away. The trees that are supposed to be green year-round have lost their leaves and fallen over, exposing their roots into the winter cold. Researchers say it's just another consequence of climate change. Making matters worse, the pace of extinction is speeding up every year. 80% of Korean fur habitats have already disappeared, as big as 3,200 soccer fields. Conifers have to stay hydrated at an average 10 degrees Celsius throughout the year. But due to climate change, the amount of snow that has fallen is about one-third of levels seen 20 years ago, breaking the moisture mechanism. Without action, experts suggest this species could be extinct within 10 years. They say the rupture of a particular land-based species will break the balance of Korea's biodiversity, 60 percent of which is forests and mountains. And just how abnormal changes in nature possibly brought us COVID-19, experts worried that such a break in the ecosystem will eventually affect us as well. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News, Pyeongchang.